Today, class, we're going to talk about elections. Does anyone know what an election is? I do, I do, I do. Yes, Bobby. What is an election? Election is a guy who wears a big tool belt that pulls his pants down so far in the back that you can see the top of his bottom. He left a whole roll of black tape in my house. That's an electrician, Bobby. An election is how we choose the people who lead our country. And to get elected, you give speeches and tell people your ideas. Or maybe your mama's ideas. I don't get it. Just don't get it. That's why we're having our own election. Today, we'll choose our candidates. And two days from today will be speech day. After the speeches, we will vote for our new class president. That leaves only two days to campaign, so anyone interested in running had better start right now. Hey, what are you doing, Bobby? I'm doing, I'm doing what Mrs. Orsa said. I'm running. We have cute legs, Bobby, but I don't think that's what she meant. Now, who wants to be president? I'm president now. In fact, I haven't been absent a week. That's present, Bobby. The president is our leader, the highest authority, like a king. King? Of the class? Miss Orso, what do I see before me? All the students' lunch boxes, ready for you to choose whatever desserts you prefer, just as you decreed, Your Highness. Then why aren't there more desserts? I, Bobby, king of the class, decree that all lunch boxes be packed only with cookies, candy, cupcakes, etc., etc., etc. Shall we dance? <laughs> It has come to my attention that many of the girls are taller than the boys. Therefore, I decree... <laughs> Off with their shoes! Yes, Bobby? Bobby, are you raising your hand to run for president? Yes! Oh, me too! Me too! I want to run! Yeah! <laughs> Make way for the king! When I'm king... President? I wonder if I'll get to move into a castle. You have such a loopy sense of humor, Bobby. Ouch! <laughs> Yuck! The president lives in the White House, Bobby. I know. I saw Baba Walters give a tour of it on TV. Ow! Oh, I hate when that happens. When I'm king, I'll never get hit with a dodgeball again. <laughs> you're running for president, Bobby, not king. But if you're going to win, I think you'll need help. How about if I run your campaign? Sure! That'll be easy, because the only other person running is Cynthia. And she's a girl. Interesting thinking, Bobby. While I mull over your campaign strategy, why don't you go home and make some signs? Yeah! I'll make some signs! Okay, I'll make a stop sign. And a peace sign. And, uh... Bobby! Ah! Well, for Crayon in New Hampshire, the national elections are coming up, and I'm trying to ring up the G golly vote here. Uh, Mom, Bobby is coloring with my new lip tint, my brand new cinnamon mango guava. Bobby! I'm not coloring. I'm making signs because I'm running for king. I mean, I mean, I mean president of my class. Oh. For crying on the White House lawn, my Bobby is running for class president? Oh, I have to go. But you remember, every vote counts, don't you know? Bye-bye. Can I have a spoon, please? Thank you. I've got to, like, call the mall and see if they've got any more cinnamon mango guava. Okay, but make it snappy. I still have 200 more votes to get out, don't you know? And who told you to turn the television off the campaign channel? Why does every TV in the house have to be on this stupid campaign? Because politics gets my gee golly juices running, don't you know? The only thing that I don't like about it is all that mudslinging, etc. Mudslinging? Sounds like fun! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! Watch out! I have to remember to do some mudslinging as soon as I get to school tomorrow. Oh, oh, there's the president now! Oh, well, he's just the most powerful person in the gee golly world, don't you know? That's why he has the Secret Service guarding him day and night. So nobody can bother him there now then yet. 
Nobody can bother the president? <laughs> Bobby! I can't believe you are coloring with my lip tint again! <laughs> oh, for the cry eye, Bobby will make such a cute candidate. A candy date? Okay, as long as whoever my date is brings a candy and there's no kissing. Sis, you gotta help me out here. I'm running for president of the Elephant Lodge and I need to borrow a tie. Yeah, truer words are never spoken. What happened to that one you're wearing then? Uh, well, it got a little wrinkled when I salvaged it from a flood in the department store, I guess. Uncle Ted, Uncle Ted! Guess what? I'm running for president too! Ho 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 Presidential Nuggies, Bobbo! Ha ha! Nuggie, Nuggie, Nuggie! Just remember, Bobbo, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but the next time, you better have fresh fish. Come with me, Ted. I'll see if I can find that nice Elvis clip-on I gave Howard for his birthday. If you want to win, Bobbo, campaign promises are the way to go. Promises? If I want to win, I have three things to remember now. Signs, mudslinging, and promises. Wise up, dweeb. Everybody knows you win by spreading rumors about the person running against you. <laughs> okay, four things. Signs, mudslinging, promises, Rumors. Okay, okay, mudslinging, make promises, spread rumors. Mudslinging, spread rumors, make promises. I promise I'll never use Kelly's lipstick again. Okay, now rumors. I'm not saying she didn't brush her teeth. I'm just saying check her breath. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Spreading rumors? Bobby, I don't approve of your campaign methods. You will when I'm king. No, I won't. And it's not king, it's president. Oh, I almost forgot. Mudslinging. You're gonna like this, Jackie. It's the funnest part of my whole campaign. Oh, you gotta love my new dress! Politicians say if you can't take the mud, get off the playground. <laughs> That's it! I quit! I don't believe in dirty politics! I win! I win! Okay! That does it, Bobby. I can no longer manage your campaign. The two-party system must be maintained. And since Cynthia has dropped out, I'm going to run in her place. <laughs> Am I in trouble? Have a cupcake? Can I count on your vote? Whoa, you bet. Cupcake, vote for me, please. Sure. Vote for me! No. Vote for me! No. I wish I had a cupcake. Honey, do you think you might be going a little bit overboard with this campaign thing? Overboard? I don't get your drift, hard. Now, everybody dig in. We don't want the George Washington cheese and veggie casserole to get cold now there yet. And now, a little cheek alley something to get us all in the convention night mood. Pretty soon, you and I and all the gee golly adults in our family will be getting the chance to vote, don't you know? I cannot wait until I am 18. I am going to make, like, a totally rad informed voter. Uh, look, now there's confetti all over the food, Martha. Oh, I dyed them. You know, you can eat the red ones now. Oh. Oh, Howard, lighten up there. I'm just excited about our nation getting our brand space. You know, President, don't you know? Mom, Mom! Hold the phone there, Bobby. You're about to start the vote. Mom, can you make me some cupcakes for my campaign so I can make people vote for me so I can win and be president? Uh-huh, that's good, hon. We'll talk in a minute. What am I gonna do? I have to have something for my campaign. I'm telling you, he like totally ravaged my lip tint. Go away, you little trowel! Thank you. Like, find a new place to dwell. Thank you. Kelly is so giving. Teddy bear for your vote? Giraffe for your vote? I have cookies. How about a can of beets? Get your pizza pie right here. <laughs> children, children, no, no, no! For goodness sakes, what's going on here? Bobby, why are you shirtless? I gave Rust a shirt off my back. 
I'll get him back tomorrow. I, I promise. <laughs> like, I totally love those stuffed animals. Well, I am a mother scorned, is all. My little boy thought he had to buy volts for corn sakes. Hey, sis, could you show me how to work this clip-on tie again? I think it's broken. Not until you tell me what you told my little Kennedy. He's been trying to buy votes for crying in the scandal sheets. Cry manitly, Ted. You just make darn sure that Bobby understands what in the Sam Hills of Wisconsin you told him about running for office. Come with me now, hon. I'll make you a nice cup of oat bran tea there, then. You know, I think you got the wrong idea there, Bobbo. Buying votes is wrong. <clears throat> Illegal in some states. Kissing babies, shaking hands, that's the way to win an election. And a uh, platform doesn't hurt either. You know, something to stand on. Hey, who knows, I might even try that myself. Kiss babies, shake hands, get a platform. Bobby, you're missing flavor-filled fiber uh, hopjacks! Uh, well, uh, well, for rolling my oats, what are you doing in the twins' room, Bobby? Shaking hands and kissing babies, and this is my platform. And may I say, those curlers look most attractive on you. I hope I can count on your vote. You know, Howard, I'm worried that Bobby is confused about the political process itself. Hey, maybe it would help if Bobby came to the lodge and watched me give my speech tonight. Where's the ketchup? Oh, no, I don't, oh, I, I don't no, think that would be great. Oh, there's absolutely no... If you vote for me, I'll let you dig anywhere you want. Hey, Bobbo, how would you like to come watch your Uncle Ted give his big speech at the Elephant Lodge tonight? Sure, Uncle Ted. You know, the key thing about giving a speech is to start with a joke, Bobbo. What if they don't like my speech and don't want to vote for me? Ah, oh, don't worry. You never give up till it's over, and it ain't over until the fat lady sings. Start with a joke, and it ain't over until the fat lady sings. Got it! <clears throat> there are two sides to every issue, and we take both. For example, I'm Meeker. I'm right wing. And I would be snared. I'm the left thigh. Extra crispy. And together, we're in, in the, the middle. middle. That's because we're politically chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and now, let's hear it for our other candidate, go Ted. Go, Ted, go. Yes, you tell him, Ted. Fellow yeah. elephants, let me start by asking you this very important question. Why did the elephant cross the road? Well, it was the chicken's day off. <laughs> Chicken's Day Off, come on! <laughs> and in conclusion, I want to say, I think we should have double cheese night, no tip night, and best of all, all fried Fridays! Man, you really had them going, Ted. Yep, I felt so good about the election, I didn't even vote for myself. Oh, what could one vote matter anyway, huh? If I could just give a speech like Uncle Ted, then I'd be the king. I, I mean, the president. Just remember two things, Bobbo. Always start with a joke, and it ain't over till the fat lady sings. And if you elect me as your president, I propose accelerated reading programs for gifted students, cool down period after recess, and healthier, low fat, Lunches. Thank you very much. And now, Bobby Generic. Uh, start with a joke. Start with a joke. Okay. Why did the elf cross the road? Because it was a chicken's day off. Get it? And in closing, I say we have no tip night, double cheese night. And all fried Fridays! Uh-oh. It's over. Wait. Wait, it ain't over till the fat lady sings. Thank you, Bobby. That was... something. Now we have a little treat. Mrs. Raspini, the new music teacher, is going to sing for us. Uh-oh. It's over. 
Brussels rest Pini for that inspired performance. You have sung. Our candidates have spoken. Let the voting begin. Let the voting begin. Mr. Chairman, could we have everybody back in their chairs? Now, could we get a response from the third row? Madam Orso, the great third row, the great class of preschoolers, the great red schoolhouse, the great... Get on with it, please. Oh, we all cast our votes for Jackie. If everyone will return to their seats, the votes have been counted. The final results are Jackie, 18, and Bobby, 2. Congratulations, Jackie. You're our new class president. Two? Let's see. I voted for me, and then that means I just got one vote? I lost. And Jackie, I would like to say that you made some very good points in your campaign. Thank you, Mrs. Orso, fellow classmates. What I wanted out of this campaign was to have my ideas heard and to give the voters of class a choice of more than one candidate. Now that I have laid the groundwork, I hereby resign my presidency and leave the duty of public office to Bobby Jenrick. <laughs> Now that you've learned a few lessons, you'll make a great president, Bobby. I was the other person who voted for you. Yuck! I lost by one lousy vote. You voted for me, didn't you, Howard? Uh, uh secret ballot, Ted. I, 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 don't, I don't think I'm uh, supposed to tell. Well, Ted, I hate to be the bad anchovy in your loaf here, but you didn't even take the time to vote for yourself, don't you know? How did I know I was gonna lose by one vote, sis? You know, I could use a little less criticism, just a little more sympathy. Well, how about a little strawberry lentil cake then instead? Okay. I won! I won! I won! I won! I'm the president of the class! All right, the dweeb won. Oh, Bobby, that is so wonderful. Oh, for waving in the fields of green, only in America, Howard, I am the first mom. Congratulations, son. Group Noogie! Not in my... No, Ted. No. Did you win too, Uncle Ted? Oh, it was the closest race ever, Bobbo. Edged out by just one vote. Well, it just shows to go ya. Every vote does count, don't you know? So? Like, um, what does the president of a kindergarten class do, Bobby? I don't know, but it must be pretty good. And now, if President Bobby will come forward and accept his presidential responsibility... <laughs> Take these symbols of your presidential office and clean them. Well, I did find out one thing, Jackie. Being king, I mean being president, isn't what I thought. There's no castle, no free lunches. <laughs> yeah, Bobby, I knew that. Hey, let's play dodgeball! <laughs> but being president does have a few advantages. 